So let's check this out. As you can see, it's the same basic pattern with one little change. Um, if we just listen to it slowly, it's in triplets. So that makes it something nice that you can play in time with a metronome, which is really, I think, kind of important for playing arpeggios because a lot of times when people, um, when they come up, a lot of times when they get to the end here, they have a tendency to rush it. Or something like that. But it's really important to learn to play this in time so that you can be in complete control of uh, the phrasing and everything about it. So anyway, We'll listen to the pattern here slowly. And uh, it's not much in the sequencing uh, department. We're still playing these pretty wide. Uh, we'll get into more um, kind of clustered sequences later. But uh, just to familiarize yourself with this pattern, uh, the basic uh, shape of form one is this, as we know. So what I'm doing here in this arpeggio in triplets, now normally if we keep uh, going up the arpeggio, we're going to hit A on the high E string here, but instead of doing that, we actually hit A up here on the B string, okay? So we do a little, a little jump here. And then there's a second pattern that we do, which is this. And basically this is form one without playing the root. Instead of going. So, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Let me do that clean. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So the way that we connect it is. You may notice something interesting. Um, I think of this as having two parts. This part and this part. And uh, basically we start on an A note. And that first phrase ends on an A also. This is A on the B string, which is the uh, 10th fret here. The second phrase is C sharp. Okay, we start on C sharp, we end on C sharp. The first phrase we start on A, we end on A. So it may be easier for you to hit the note if you know where you're going, because this is kind of a wide stretch. And a lot of times you may find that you keep missing the mark. You may be doing something like this. You know, whatever. If you know where you're going, if you know the note you're going to hit is an A, and you know where A is on the neck, then there is that really increases your chance of hitting it if you know where you're going instead of just memorizing some kind of physical pattern which uh, is not really the best way to to go about it so I'll do it slowly again hit the A
You've been enjoying the RFD Musicale, featuring Carl Schroeder and his boys. Tune in again next week at this same time for another pleasant half hour of music on the RFD. Mm -hmm.